to be vindicated after so many years. Man, it feels so sweet. Binance is officially in the hot seat with the CFTC charging the exchange and its CEO Changpeng Zhao with financial crimes. People have told me I'm wrong for years. Binance would never do any harm. They are a precious asset to this space. Well, the veil is finally coming down and Binance is being unmasked for what they truly are, criminal manipulators. But the CFTC indictment is just the beginning. Find out what comes next in about 10 minutes because it's time for Chico Crypto. Yup, the CFTC finally did it. They charged Binance. The press release from them states CFTC charges Binance and its founder Changpeng Zhao with willful evasion of federal law and operating an illegal digital asset derivatives exchange. As we can see, the CFTC charged CZ and three entities that operate the Binance platform with numerous violations of the Commodity Exchange Act and CFTC regulations. The complaint also charges Samuel Lint, Binance's former former chief compliance officer with aiding and abetting Binance violations. Now I have to say this, I told you so. My investigations into Binance's manipulation go all the way back to November of 2018, showing how they were manipulating tokens on their exchange with new token listing pump and dumps. Anyone remember Walton Chain? That was just the beginning of my investigations into Binance and their constant market manipulation. I continued posting videos throughout 2019, through 2020, into 2021, into 2022, and of course, up to today in 2023. Just last month, I said this regarding regulators coming for Binance after I showed how Binance is still allowing trading by users in jurisdictions they're banned in through shell exchanges. Let's watch now. Binance is playing a shady game of whack-a-mole, doing everything in their power to allow the trading on their platform by jurisdictions they aren't allowed in. And regulators are coming. So mount up, cheers. Maybe I'll see you next time. Yep, I knew the regulators were coming for Binance and soon, and now they've officially arrived at their doorstep. And the indictment of Binance by the CFTC reveals that there will be more coming, like criminal charges from the DOJ. Here is the actual indictment documents from the CFTC. Under the facts of the case in section 104, the CFTC alleges internally Binance officers, employees, and agents have acknowledged that the Binance platform has facilitated potentially illegal activities. For example, in February 2019, after receiving information regarding Hamas transactions on Binance, Lim explained to a colleague that terrorists usually send small sums as large sums constitute money laundering. Lim's colleague replied, can barely buy an AK-47 with 600 bucks. And with regard to certain Binance customers, including customers from Russia, Lim acknowledged in a February 2020 chat, like, come on, they are here for crime. Binance's MLRO agreed that we see the bad, but we close two eyes. Yeah, it looks like Binance knowingly facilitated Hamas on the exchange, the suicide bombing terrorist organization of the Middle East. Then just below this, they also facilitated transactions of accounts knowingly dealing in illicit activities like drugs. Section 105 says, Lim's internal discussions with compliance colleagues illustrate that Binance has tolerated Binance customers' use of the platform to facilitate illicit activity. 
For example, in July 2020, a Binance employee wrote to Lim and another colleague asking if a customer whose recent transactions were very closely associated with illicit activity and over 5 million USD worth of his transactions were indirectly sourced from questionable services should be off-boarded. Or if it was in the class of cases where we would want to advise a user that they can make a new account. Lim chatted in response, can let him know to be careful with his flow of funds, especially from Darknet like Hydra. He can come back with a new account, but this current one has to go. It's tainted. The Darknet is an alternative internet that uses technology like Tor to facilitate private online sales of Drugas with cryptocurrency and Hydra was one of their biggest marketplaces in the past. Binance knowingly helped accounts dealing in large sums, 5 million plus, whose funds largely came from the darknet marketplaces, aka likely these were Druga dealers on those marketplaces. Binance facilitated drug dealers. And guess who covered this all the way back in January of 2020? We did with this video, which dove into how Binance is being used to facilitate billions of dollars of money laundering for dealers and cartels. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. In section 69, it gets deep into their manipulation. It says, during the relevant period, Binance has traded on its own platform through approximately 300 house accounts that are all directly or indirectly owned by Zhao, as well as accounts owned by Merit Peak and Sigma Chain. Zhao has also traded on the Binance platform through two individual accounts. At various times during the relevant period, Merit Peak has entered into OTC transactions with Binance customers and settling such trades by depositing digital assets directly into its counterparty's Binance accounts while Sigma Chain has engaged in proprietary trading in Binance's various markets, including its markets for digital asset derivatives. On information and belief, Binance's proprietary trading activity on Binance's own markets is directed by Binance's quant desk. Binance was trading against its own customers with 300 house accounts. The entire exchange and market movements were controlled by a single person, Chang Peng Zhao. So why do I think the DOJ, the Department of Justice from the United States is about to drop charges against Binance and its executives? Well, it's not only the CFTC who's been investigating Binance, government agencies, one who can press criminal charges are also investigating. As we can see, the CFTC probe against Binance was announced in March of 2021. Just a few months after this, in May of 2021, it was the Justice Department and the IRS announcing their investigations. And just a few months ago, in December, it was reported from Reuters that the Justice Department was split over charging Binance. The article on this states, the charges under investigation are unlicensed money transmission, money laundering, conspiracy, and criminal sanction violations of four people familiar with the investigation said. No final charging decisions have been made, though prosecutors consider Zhao and some other executives to be subjects of the investigation, one source familiar with the situation said. Back in December, charging Binance and its execs was still being mulled around by the DOJ. So when could the charges be coming? Well, what's happening to CZ and Binance also happened to the former number one crypto exchange and its founder, whose reign ended during their investigation turmoil. That was BitMEX and founder Arthur Hayes. As we can see, the CFTC announced their probe against BitMEX in July of 2019. What's highly interesting about this is it was just the CFTC announcing their probe. There wasn't information about the DOJ. And as we can see from this timeline of events, the DOJ never announced BitMEX was under investigation by them. 
Well, as we can see, when the CFTC finally indicted BitMEX just over a year later, the DOJ did too, on the exact same day, October 1st, 2020. So it's safe to say, in my opinion, the DOJ began their investigation at the same time as the CFTC. Their investigations took the same amount of time. Which leads me to believe that the investigations from these departments regarding Binance will also take the same amount of time. Remember, the DOJ announced their charges separately against Binance two months after the CFTC did. So in my opinion, it's likely we see criminal charges coming against Binance two months from now. You heard it here first, like always. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time. Oh,